For those of you out there that have a local business and are trying to improve your local search rankings, also known as your search engine optimization or SEO, let's, I'm going to talk about how to optimize the metadata for your different pages on your site to rank locally for the terms that you want to rank for. And that's done predominantly on WordPress through a plugin called Yoast SEO. And this is the Yoast SEO plugin here. We can see the meta title and the meta description. So this site, Austin Autoglass, if you just search Canyon City Autoglass, which is the city that this business is in, you'll see it's the number one ranked map listing and the number one ranked site right here. So you can tell we're doing some things right. Let me sort of walk you through what we're doing in order to get these sort of results. So with the metadata, there's a couple of important elements that you need to take into consideration when you're, when you're writing your metadata for the pages on your website. The first section is the meta title, also known as the SEO title in the Yoast SEO plugin. And the, it's really separated into three different chunks. You've got the first chunk here, which is really just a description of that page. And this is the home page of the site. So it should be a description of what's, what the site is all about. So you can see auto glass replacement and repair. That's basically what the site is about. Windshield installation, repair. You can see mobile auto glass replacement and repair from Canyon City, Colorado. So we have a very short description and the main term we're going after is auto glass. And so it's at the very beginning of this SEO title, which Google gives more weight to terms at the beginning of this title than terms at the end. So we put the, the main term, the main keyword at the very beginning with a little bit more of a description here, auto glass replacement and repair, depending on what people are searching for. And then we have a dash followed by the city that the business is in or the city that you want to rank the page in. So Canyon City, comma, CO for Colorado. So city, state, and then you have this pipe, which is just a vertical line separating out the business name. So you have the description, the city, and then a separator and the name of the business, Austin Auto Class. So that tells Google essentially that this is an auto glass repair and replacement shop in Canyon City, Colorado, and it's called Austin Auto Glass. If you start mixing those around and put Austin Auto Glass first and the city at the end, it's just going to throw Google off and your rankings are going to suffer because of it. So try your best to use this template, this format, where you have the description, the city, and then the name of the business at the end. Once you get the SEO title done, and also make sure it's the right length. You can see this line is green here. If we were to just keep typing, eventually it'll turn red because we'll run out of space. And so we want it to stay in the green. And the same thing goes with the meta description. So if we look, here's the meta title. This is what shows up on Google. And then the meta description is the actual description that shows up right below it. And again, in the meta description, we want to use the main term auto glass towards the very beginning of the description. So luckily auto glass is in the name of the business. So just by saying Austin auto glass, we've used the term auto glass at the very beginning of the meta description here. So it says Austin auto glass offers affordable auto glass replacement. So now we've used auto glass twice and then in Canyon city, Colorado. So again, we have the location, so we've got the main term and the location in the first sentence of the meta description. And then we have something that's designed to catch people's attention and get them to click on our listing. So $159 windshield installed in most cars and trucks. So if someone sees that and they're interested in, a, in an affordable windshield replacement, then that's going to intrigue them and they're, they're going to click and see what's going on with the business. So same thing here, we want to keep it this, the, the correct length so that we're not going too long. And if you follow that strategy to write your meta title and your meta description, your SEO is going to see a big jump up in improvement if you haven't already applied these strategies. 
and uh, you, you're just really going to like the results that you see. Having done this enough, I know how much of an impact it can, it can have to actually set this up correctly. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything that I missed or that you have questions about, drop it in the comments. I'll go ahead and respond. Make sure to like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys on the next video.